Now, Governor Nome from South Dakota. Well, good afternoon. I've been down here to the border before. This was the first time I had the chance to really see it from the air. And, and what we're literally witnessing is a war zone. And it's astonishing to me to watch it perpetuated by our federal government and by President Biden. Um, I was the first state to send National Guard troops down here to participate in partnership with the Texas National Guard. Um, and many other governors had sent some law enforcement. I sent my National Guard because I recognized what we were facing, that this really is a war. It's a war for our country and for our federal laws that have been passed in our Constitution. They are threatening our sovereignty right now, and the cartels are out for blood, and they are facilitating the trafficking of our children each and every day. That's what I find so shocking about the way that Biden continuously violates federal law, is the lack of humanity in these policies. And I hope you all, you talk about this in your press today, and I hope you play this and you print it. These policies are inhumane of what they're doing to people and to families. The cartel is using these children to cross this border to get their drugs and to sell those children and taking advantage of them. The statistics are that over 60% of the children that cross this border will be um, exploited by these cartels. What's interesting is in South Dakota, yes, we've seen incredible increases in our drug uh, proliferation in our state. We've seen incredible human trafficking consequences because of these policies here. I have another element at stake as well. I have Native American tribes in South Dakota. I have no jurisdiction on their reservations. Um, Joe Biden is underfunding their tribal law at the same time. They are not coming out onto our tribal reservations and enforcing law and helping protect the communities there. And the vast majority of the drugs in the Midwest are coming right through South Dakota on these reservations that I can't do anything about. The people of South Dakota live with being on the front line of this mess every single day because the cartels are set up in South Dakota too. And that's what this country needs to realize is that when you have a president in the White House that breaks the law and ignores the law, that it has consequences not just here in Texas, which you have by far the worst consequences I've ever seen. And I want to thank Governor Abbott for all that he's done. He's a patriot for fighting this fight and continuing to fund it and all the men and women that are standing up beside him, allowing him to do it. But the fact is it doesn't stop at Texas. I deal with it every single day in South Dakota. Our crimes have gone up, our drug um, issues have gone up consistently, and it's because we have cartels set up in South Dakota too. So I'm all in. I, I've had our National Guard down here for a long time. We've had our Lakota helicopters down here on a federal mission doing surveillance on the border. And in September 1st, we're gonna send more troops down here. Um, we absolutely have to show people that there's a different choice. And it literally is just enforcing the laws that we already have. You've heard our Border Patrol talk about this. You've heard our National Guard talk about this, our public safety. We don't need more laws. We just need the president to respect the laws that we already have. So thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. You're a rock star. Thank you. Uh, now Governor Stitt from Oklahoma.